Hey, what's up? How you doing today? I'd be doing a little better. I got a little problem here. It could have been a serious problem. That's why I'm wearing safety glasses right now. And that's why I've got something covering this dangerous uh, scooter here. Put some new batteries in there and look, we got a little bit of a problem. This one's about to explode. And this one's not far behind it. And these are brand new batteries. And don't ask me why this crap happened, because all I did was put new batteries in this thing. Uh, there should, I didn't bypass any wiring. You know, there should have been some kind of overcurrent protection. And I don't know if the problem is in the uh, wiring in the scooter or if it was with the charger. These chargers, I believe the way they work is the, the green light blinks. And when it's done charging, it stops blinking and stays on solid. So, um, I'm not happy about this. And uh, neither are the owners that spent the 20 25 what however to $30 on some new batteries. But uh, the first one I did went fine, and uh, this did not go so well. So... I don't understand it. There should be some kind of overcurrent protection to keep this from happening. Obviously, I feel dumb because I had a serious brain fart and plugged the charger in for some dumb reason like a complete idiot and knew that it should have stopped blinking um, like almost right away and it didn't so I was going to give it like five minutes or whatever. And then I accidentally walked out the door and went to bed for the night or whatever. And came back in the morning and was afraid this was going to blow up in my face. So I guess it's better that it, I don't know, happened here and some poor kid didn't get uh, covered in battery acid. So anyway, if you've had the same problem with an electric razor scooter, I feel your pain. But I still say this should not, crap should not have happened. I dare say this bull crap should not have happened, but uh, anyway, uh, you know, it does have an overload button right here that I'm assuming is for, uh, that it's a thermal overload if you're running it too hard, like uphill on a hot day or whatever. Um, so anyway, if you have any suggestions on how to avoid this from happening, I hope it doesn't happen to anybody else. And, uh, wish you the best you know all I did was put new batteries in it and uh, of course I had to change had to uh, use some different a little bit different wiring but I don't think I used any wires that were undersized or anything um, because the old wires were hardwired and these had uh, terminals on the top right there so you gotta something about that anyway good luck wish you the best if you have any uh, advice for me Leave me a comment or email me on YouTube. Thanks. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.